What is happening guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and I have lots and lots of sneaker content. If you are new here, make sure you are subscribed to stay updated with all my latest videos. These days it's so hard to find a sneaker that is under £100, $100, well at least a cool trendy one. So today's video I'm going to be showing you my top 10 sneakers that are under £100, $100. Obviously Black Friday is around the corner and Christmas is in about a month's time. So now is the time to be picking up these bargains because even though these are under 100 pounds with black friday and christmas sales you might get them even cheaper than what i'm about to tell you their retail price is for so definitely keep an eye out for discounts because we love a discount and especially in this climate so we're going to start off strong and we're going to go in with the adidas campus 2000s this is probably one of my favorite recent pickups that i've had i'm absolutely in love with this shoe it is 85 pounds around about 100 dollars however if if you do sign up with Adidas for the first time, like just create a separate email if you haven't already, um, you do get 10% off as well, which I think is an absolutely amazing price for this sneaker. So this was taken from the original Adidas Campus 80 and they've basically bulked it up, kind of made it more like a skateboarding shoe. Design-wise on the upper, we have suede and then we have these extra padded features. So we have a really padded tongue and then we have padding around the collar. And we also, my favorite part of this is this really, really thick laces these come in a load of variations of colors i also picked up the green pair which is absolutely stunning and i think in terms of value for money it is just spot on next up we have the new balance 530 now there was a lot of hype around this silhouette extremely popular silhouette um most of it was the white and the silver colorways now i wasn't too keen on some of the plastic material on it i have found this color which is absolutely stunning so we have the new balance 530 in the colorway blue now, as you can see, they've kind of changed that plastic out for some suede, which just makes it so much more premium. And I think it just changes the shoe. I have tried it on the 530s before and they are an extremely comfortable shoe. So it's perfect for an everyday shoe. We then have the Jumbo Nike Blazer 77 Low. Now, this is one of my all time favorites. One of the main things about this shoe is that the fact it retails around 90 pounds, $100, but they are always, always on sale. For me, they look like a collab collaboration shoe because of the huge logo absolutely love that they look so much more expensive than what they actually are they do come in a vintage style pair so if you don't like the jumbo look again that pair is also always on sale as well now what i love about these is this very very simple silhouette as well is a low i always do think that low tops do go so much better with everything. Also, this sneaker is very versatile. I also think it's really good for a gym shoe as well. Now, it literally wouldn't be a video if I didn't give you something, you know, that was a little bit different. So we have the Vans New School. Now, as you can see, this is a very exaggerated design. Um, it is taken from the original classic Vans, but obviously they have bulked it up. They've kind of made it a little bit more 3D. These came in at 75 pounds, around about $95 as well. In terms in terms of the upper, we do have the standard black suede. However, if you take a look on the side, we have a 3D molded side stripe. We have a huge padded tongue. We also have a padded collar as well. Really thick laces to match this. And then we do have a chunky midsole. One thing I love about Vans in general is how easy they are to slip on, slip off. They're quite comfortable for an everyday shoe. And this is basically exactly the same. There is no difference, even though it is bulkier and kind of heavier and thicker. Next up, we have the like for Mary 5. This does have that very sporty look. It is designed as a running shoe. On the upper, we have mesh and we also have leather overlays as well. We also have some 3M pieces. In terms of the midsole, you will see that we have this zoom cushioning. This is a bulky sneaker, but I absolutely love the design on this sneaker and especially the upper. Now, this is a little bit of a sneaky one because these actually retail for £140, $160. But on Stock X, you can pick up the black colorway for under £100 which I think is an absolute bargain. You are getting them for under retail price. They do also come out in a variation of different colors, but I think maybe perhaps for those other colors, you will be paying more than hundred pounds, hundred dollars. So next up, we do have the Converse Chuck 70 High. Now, at first glance, you might be thinking that just looks like an original Converse All-Star High, but this one is a little bit different. So if we take a closer look, you will notice that it has slightly different materials, which I think elevates the shoe so much. The 
upper is made up of a thicker fabric. Most difference though that I would say between the sneakers is definitely the sole. It's using kind of a different type of rubber that is a lot thicker and it's also slightly off white. The quality on these is absolutely amazing. Now they are a little bit more expensive than the normal standard Converse. These came in at 85 pounds or around $100. Again, there's loads of discounts that you will be able to pick up to, you know, get them even cheaper. There is not a single person in this world that cannot rock a Converse and that is what makes them such a great shoe. Now I started to get to a point where I was getting a little bit sick of the Nike Dunk Lows. So many people have the Nike Dunk Low, but I can understand why because it does make sense. It is such a great everyday silhouette. There are some colorways and designs that do come out that catch my eye and it kind of reignites that love that I do have for Nike Dunk Lows. I took a look on StockX for these because they were released at the beginning of the year so they have all sold out so you wouldn't be able to find them on kind of a normal company other than a reseller company. You can even bid on them to get them even cheaper as well. If you aren't familiar with StockX, just reach out on Instagram or anything and give me a message and I'll be able to give you the down low on StockX. Shishiko is actually a Japanese embroidery style. So on the upper, you have the denim and you have this white contrast stitching. So if you are looking for a new Nike Dunk Low, perhaps for yourself or maybe to gift as a present, whoever that lucky person is, then definitely go for something, you know, that is a little bit more different because it's literally the same price as retail. New Balance have really been winning in the last couple of years. Here we have the New Balance CT302. They've taken a classic tennis silhouette and they have turned it into a chunky, again, a kind of smart casual sneaker. This usually retails for £100, $100, but I have seen them on sale for about £60. We've got this creamy kind of white and then it's paired really nicely with this kind of sage green, as you can see from the New Balance logo and also on the heel tab here as well. Now this is a very, very chunky shoe. It has a very thick midsole and on the upper we do have some elements of suede mesh and also rubber. So it kind of does almost remind me of an Alexander McQueen. I think this New Balance definitely looks a lot more expensive than what it actually is. This looks absolutely ridiculously clean on foot. Next we have the Reebok Club 85 Vintage. Now I've had my eyes on these for quite a while and I always see people wearing them as well. These do retail for £90 or around just over $100. But again, you can definitely, definitely get these on discount. I've been seeing them for about £50, $60. So definitely don't pay full price for them. This sneaker is very minimal, very basic, but I think that's why it's so effective. So on the upper, we do have leather and we also have this beautiful vintage off-white color. Now, what I love about this vintage design is that it makes it a timeless sneaker and it doesn't really matter how many times you can batter this sneaker, it will still look good because it does have that vintage vibe all the time. You can get away with wearing it every single day and you can get away with pretty much wearing anything with it at all. Now this is probably a little bit of a cheat because technically it's not a sneaker but guys this is my most worn footwear since they have come out. I wear this every single day all year round. It is the easy slide. There in my opinion is just nothing like it in terms of comfortability, how easy they are. I mean they are a slide to get on, to get off and how they look. Everything about it is just 10 10. Now the reason why I have included it is that also pricing wise these have come down so much so obviously you can't pick them up from retail anymore from a Yeezy or Adidas whatever so you do have to go to a reseller's website such as StockX. All most of the colorways are under £100, $100 and I think that this would make the most fantastic present for yourself or for a friend. But please let me know in the comments below if you think that I've missed out on a sneaker that is under £100, under $100 that I have missed out potentially in this top 10 video. That may also help some other people, so please do share. I hope this video has helped you guys. If you do have any other questions as well, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.